Wales, day two of the Barbados Food and Rum Festival. Cheers! I'm here at Harrison's Cave for their Chef Classic event, food demos and mixology demos. Let's go! My lovelies, what a privilege it is. Now we just wrapped up all of the cooking. Now for the drinking. Enrico Chico has one of the most interesting job titles I've ever heard. He is a rum expert. And I would love to know, how do you become a rum expert? Because let me tell you, I'm Trini. And we just <laughs> real drink rum. I know all you know that, right? <laughs> and I'm certain they want to know how to become a rum expert. Okay, so hi everyone, Chico Rico here, Mokia Distilleries, Arsenal Scape as well. To become a rum expert, we basically say you must be able to drink first and foremost. And we call it <laughs> research and development. <laughs> so you buy some rum and you have some fun. But basically it's a job which entails a lot of reading, a lot of history because rum is a very historic product. Started back in the 17th century. So it's basically a balance between reading being able to sell, being able to market, and also being able to drink, of course. Now, I can vouch for what you're saying there because I just completed my mixology and bartending course at the European Bartending School. So, the history and the techniques and all the reason behind everything is absolutely one of the most, I guess, amazing processes. Because I think we take things for granted. We think we just pour the rum in a glass, but there is a lot more to it. So, tell me more about your position. Okay, so my position basically is to welcome the guests to Barbados. I don't see myself just as a rum expert. I see myself as a cultural ambassador. So food and rum, BTMI, all of that. I see myself as helping, their, helping them to do their job. So for me, it's all about teaching persons, all about beautiful Barbados. For example, Harrison's Cave, we get to go underground, we get to see the rock system. Then you understand how our water quality is different from others. Because of the rock system, it then branches off into the success of the sugar industry and also the quality of the raw ingredients used to produce the rum, which is the molasses. And then with the education system here, we have a lot of persons who are well informed and they have a lot of experience and expertise. So then we all come together to make it possible. So I like to tell a person about Barbados, and I tell them all about the food, all the drinks, and then of course, how to use the rum going forward. So I see that as my, my job here, my duty for sure. And also to eliminate that fear of alcohol, <laughs> because we know some persons, they don't want to smell it. But it's all about, you know, each one, each one, and impacting the world on a positive note. Well, I have to say that was well put. I think uh, just the explanation of the whole system and what it means. I love the expression cultural ambassador. Okay. And one of the things I've observed here in Barbados is that you all are really close-knit. Like each industry helps each other, each business kind of intertwines with the other and it's very supportive and I really admire that. So Chico, thank you very much for your time. You're I know welcome. you're very busy today and you just did an amazing presentation with the tasting and we had three amazing rums to taste. So thank you again very You're much. <laughs> well, hopefully you can come over and give us some of your expertise I over there. there. I need to come and find out all about Angus Jury, your best kept secret. Well, you know what? I will be your host. You yes, come to please. Trinidad and we will organize and go to the Angus Jury, please. Yes, all right. <laughs> Great.